Spinning your chip shots. Okay, let's talk a little bit about spinning your chip shots. So we've got a situation here where we're off the green. We've got quite a bit of green to work with here and we will look to skip this ball in, make it spin and then slowly release out. So from this sort of distance, about 35 meters or so, there's no way in the world you're ever gonna get a ball to spin backwards. So let's just be clear on that. You're gonna need about probably 70 meters, maybe more, 65 meters. You're going to need a soft golf ball that does is actually receptive to spin. You're going to need a lot of loft in a wedge, so we're talking lob wedge, sand wedge, or somewhere in that sort of area. You're going to need a very good lie, and a little bit of an into the wind might help a little, and soft receptive greens will certainly help to be able to back the ball up. But you're going to need quite a lot of speed, and you're going to need about 7,000 plus revolutions on the ball, and probably a good steep angle of attack for you to get down and get that ball really rotating. So from this length here, we'd be happy for it to come in quite hot, take some spin, slow it down, and then just have it trickle out to the hole. It's uphill most of the way, so that'll help a little. And we certainly don't really want the ball to go too far past the hole and have a downhill putt coming back. So spinning our chips, a downward angle of attack. So we want lots of wrist action here. We can't go in here stiff wristed if we're looking for spin. That's just simply gonna pop the ball in the air and have it just dribble onto the green. And we're gonna go through our five big rules again. So we're gonna stand about a shoe distance away from the ball, play the ball off our back foot. We're gonna open up our stance a little bit to the left, keep our shoulders square to the play line. We're gonna put our hands out in front and we're gonna keep our weight on that left foot the whole time. Okay, so away we go. We're gonna hit a, sh a chip shot here, see if we can get it to spin and release. Okay, so it was coming in quite hot, took a little bit of the spin and then just drizzled out to the end of the hole. So a downward attack, lots of speed, a very lofted club, a soft spin reactive ball, not a hard distance ball that's never going to grab and spin. And the confidence to be fast down the bottom here. You can't come in here slow with a, with a nine on or something and expect it to spin and pull up on you. You need loft, you need a spinning ball, and you need a downward attack. We hope that gets you to spin your chips. We hope that helps you with your confidence and consistency and contact. Good luck with your chips.